Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing this Bowmaker GC357 projector that my dad got for me in June of 2021. So, without further ado, let's go. So what it says on the box is that it is a 1080p compatible projector with the best projection distance and screen size of 2.6 meters and 80 inches. The power consumption is 52 watts and it's got a long LED lamp life of up to 50,000 hours. And the feature set says that it makes a wireless Wi-Fi connection, which means it's easy to set up. It's got a sharp and clear image, which makes for a great home experience. It's got rich colors so you can see more details. Dual heat radiation exhaust design, which means you can get lower fan noise. And it's also got multiple inputs and high compatibility. So what comes in the box is the power cord, the included HDMI cable, the RCA cable, the instruction manual and warranty, the remote, and then the item itself. All right, so at the front, you're gonna see the lens and then the IR receiver. On the right side, you will see the power port and a fan exhaust. On the left side, you will see a headphone jack, the AV jack, the SD card slot, the USB port, the HDMI, and the VGA. On the bottom, you got the two speakers, you got the four rubber feet, and on here, there is actually a tripod stand connector thing. I've already attached one onto here. And on the top of the projector, there's the power button, menu button, back button, and source button, and there's an okay button. There's also a keystone and focus ring. When you turn the projector on, you'll see this menu, but you don't need it since you can just change the source to HDMI with the really powerful remote that literally works at any angle. And then you can just plug the computer into the projector with the included HDMI cable. If you don't have a computer, you don't have to worry because with the screen mirroring feature, you can just connect your phone or computer to the monitor. On iPhone, this is how to connect. So you just connect to its fairly rudimentary Wi-Fi connection over here. Now, when you would first connect to it, you would type in the password, but I've already connected to it multiple times, so don't need to type in the password. And then you just go over here, screen mirroring, and then boom. And then you just wait a little bit. Boom, that's my phone screen right up on that projector there. And this is how to connect on computer. So on computer, you would just go to settings and then system, and then just scroll down until you see and connect to a wireless display. And then this thing would pop up here. And then you just gotta, it says connecting to your device. It just works like that. There are also loads of options and settings to play around with. The most notable one is the picture mode setting, which you can use to get the most out of the projector. And the screen size setting, which you can use to make your projection size smaller so it can fit your screen. So what about the picture quality? The picture quality is pretty good. It's a native 720p projector, which is perfectly fine if you just want to watch movies and don't want to be distracted by all the details in the movie you're watching. I've seen some people say that this projector has a native resolution of 800 by 600, but the 2022 updated model has a higher native resolution, and the 2022 model is the one that I have right now. The picture looks pretty okay when the screen size is 60 inches in this case. The lamp is an LED lamp with 5,000 lumens and a lamp life of 50,000 hours, or 5.7 years. What? It looks okay in a roughly bright room, but it looks really good in the dark. So are there any extra features? There is a remote so you don't have to fiddle with the buttons to change some settings, and there was a headphone jack so you can connect some external speakers and help drown out the fan noise of the projector. This is actually what the projector sounds like. So what do I think of it? In my opinion, it's a great and solid projector for the price, especially because you can find some 720p projectors that are over double the price of this projector. You can't expect an awesome looking image for the price, and you probably have a TV that has better quality than this projector. But if you want something to give to a friend, or just something you can use anywhere, this is a great projector and I definitely would recommend it. So I really really hope you enjoyed this video, if you loved it please subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye!